Detective Comics issue 1027 celebrated another landmark achievement for The Dark Knight as the book The Batman Begun In reaches its 1000th issue. Within the absolutely stacked book is 12 stories covering all aspects of Batman, including a few from other people's perspective of the character. The stories do a really great job covering Batman's history and the different incarnations of him throughout the years, from Peter Tomasi proving why the character is a good a detective as he is, to Mac Fraction turning in a rather sobering story about Batman and Joker's relationship. Some of the real standout stories to me include Brian Michael Bendis pitting the Bat family up against a crime scene, showcasing how Batman's training has influenced their ways of operating, and Grant Morrison's really meta and really cool story of the Silver Ghost, a detective waging a one-man war in Gotham, with the problem being that Gotham is already filled with hard-boiled detectives, so he tries to set himself apart by becoming a vigilante, which allows him to see one of the first cases Batman ever worked, allowing the boy to see the vigilante killing a man, learning that the life he wanted for himself really isn't all it's cracked up to be. Scott Snyder also returns to the character to tell a rather inspiring tale on how when Earth's sun dies, the heroes of Earth rush to find a solution, but don't find one. However, Batman does come up with a grand invention to help reignite the sun, having Jim Gordon light the bat signal to let the people of Gotham and the world know that everything will be okay and they will make it till morning. Detective Comics issue 1027 was a really great collection of stories that celebrated Batman's long and storied history, with something for every type of Batman fan here, and maybe something for new and returning readers as well. While usually I don't bring up comic prices, $10 for a comic is rather steep, and that's what they're charging for this book, but at a whopping 144 pages and 12 stories with amazing art throughout the whole book, it's absolutely worth the money, especially when you consider the book also features a kickstart to the upcoming Generations event that people are probably going to want to read to understand a little bit about what's happening in that event. I'm going to give this issue a 9.5 out of 10.